now which approach should be used when we there are two approaches available to us one is the dmac approach and the other is dfss approach dmac is whenever you have a existing process when something is already happening you've seen that there is observation that there is some problems happening in the process then you can always use the dmac process so for example in raj pizza delivery shop we know that there were issues with delivery time and all that so we can use the dmac approach now if likit chef decided that they are going to open their own pizza delivery shop so then what they should do they have seen already that raj is having these problems so then they should approach using this they should design their process in such a way that variation will not even happen defects will not even happen they should set up their pizza delivery or itself the way the pizza is made everything they must make sure that it is done in the quickest time possible they should understand how to how do i uh, you know hire people when i hire should i hire people who know the routes very well who will not take too long how do i give google access to all my google phone access to everybody so that they can quickly look at the route map and reach the customer place and all that so then they become more intelligent and they design it for success so this is when you are starting something new when you are designing a new product or process you can design it in such a way that it is optimized but sometimes even you can you can design an existing process you already have a process you found that just by using dmac it is not working you can still use dfss and redesign your process in such a way that errors do not happen so there are two way two ways which we use one is called the dmac approach which is define measure analyze improve and control and the other is dfss approach where we have dfss is design measure analyze what are the two approaches let's write here approaches to six sigma one is the regular dmac approach oh. for existing processes to improve the way they perform which is define measure analyze improve and control next one is dfss not used for creating new products and services or redesigning existing processes and the approach here is dmadv that is define measure and design dmadv verify some and some places it becomes optimize and so there may be one more step which is optimize and verify so it will be either dmadv or these are the two approaches to six sigma so these are all the approaches this is all little bit of theory so that you all understand what is the dmac first you define what your problem is you measure take collect data around it analyze it and then make solutions and control the input so when before we go to six sigma and organizational goals let us explain dmac with the doctor example so yes we go to the doctor we tell the doctor what all our problems are what we want we want to get well soon so what is our problem what is our goal i've been having fever for so many days i'm not keeping well i have tummy pain that is my problem so in define we are defining what is the issue we are facing what does the doctor do he takes measurements he takes your weight he takes your height he takes your blood reports he may take your uh, you know make you do different tests he may take check your sugar levels he may check your bp levels etc to see what is happening with your health he may collect the data in measure phase we collect data about the process what is happening collection of data happens in measure phase after he gets all the reports the doctor will analyze to see ye bacterial infection hai ya viral infection hai is it typhoid is it jaundice is it what is it so he will analyze the reports in analyze phase once he is come down and found what is the root cause he will give medication for it that is your improve phase where you are trying to solve you are finding solutions to improve the process will you solve for temperature or will you solve for the infection tell me is temperature a symptom or a disease 
so always your problem is the symptom you have to treat the root causes you have to find out what is the problem you have to treat the root causes so finally after finding out and analyze what is the root cause solution is given on the root causes or the medication is given for the root causes and then the process should have achieved its goal by end of improve phase by end of improve phase you should have achieved your goal and in control phase you will try to make sure that you are not having a relapse you know once you get a disease sometimes you have a relapse right the virus infection may come back again and all that so that should not happen your process should not go back to where it was it should stay up and steady where it is that is control phase sustaining the improvement is control phase so do you all understand dmac clearly now what is define measure analyze improve and control 